thing again. So before we try this, I wanted to take a look at these two expressions. We have this one here, two times the parentheses x plus three. And we have this one down here, six plus two x. And I'd like you on your paper or dry erase to make a table for each one of them. And it's a three column table that I'd like you to create. In the first one, we're gonna put this rule or this expression two times x plus three. And in the other one, we're gonna put this expression, six plus two x. Tables are a really great way to organize things in math. And what we're gonna see happen is that we are gonna see an input go into both of these that is the same. So there will be a number that goes into this box. And then we will see that number go through both machines and it will give us an output. And so we're gonna put our input in the first column and we're gonna keep track of our outputs in the second column or the third column. So if I put in two, it's gonna go into both. And I want you to look at what's going to happen here. We're going to get two is going to stay in its place. The X, because the input column is our X, is going to be replaced with the two. And in the second one, the six stays the same, plus two times two. And let's just do the math in our heads. For the first one, you always do what's in parentheses first. So two plus three would be six, <clears throat> five, I'm sorry. Two plus three would be five and five times two would be 10. And our output is what we call typically the variable Y. On the right side, my X is also two and I get six plus two times two, two times two is four, four plus six is 10. So in these, we would be able to say that these work. So I'm gonna unpause the Desmos and let you all try the warm up and keep track of the numbers that pop up as you try the different, do it like three times. Sometimes if you put in two, both answers will be zero, but if you put in three, it will be one and the other will be negative one. So I would have to agree and say that it is sometimes true because the number two makes them the same, but I can't think of any other number besides two that does that. So I'm going to Okay, on slide five, where some people got stalled or stuck, we have a negative five times the parentheses eight minus two X. Now what has to happen here is that negative five has to get multiplied by both things that are there. And when we do that, we call this the distributive property where we're gonna take this negative five and we're gonna multiply it by eight. And we're going to take the negative five and multiply it by negative two X. And this is where I want you all to get something to write with, because this is how it's typically been taught, where we show that this is getting multiplied by both of these things. I'm a really visual learner. And I've learned over the years that it's really simple to make a quick little table where I put the terms in 
to make sure that I'm not missing anything in the multiplication. So if you take a look here, I've got the eight is here. My negative two X is here. And basically I took everything that was in the parentheses and I broke them up and I put them down the side of my little table. And then the negative five that we started with is right here at the top. And I want you to think about this as like we made a little mini times table where this eight times this negative five, the answer is gonna go here. So eight, positive eight times negative five is gonna get us a negative 40. And then I have negative five times negative two X and we know that negative times negative is positive. And five times two is 10. And then we have the X. So if I needed to write something that was equivalent, I could put negative 40 plus 10 X or I could write this as 10 X minus 40. I can see that it can go either way. Now what's interesting on our screen when we look at the next slide is that we were then asked to come up with our favorite wrong answer. And so let me switch my screen share over to this. We have the same problem, negative five times eight minus two X. Zion and Juliana and Nicholas are all wrong. None of them got the same answer that we just calculated together. And you're asked to choose which mistake you liked the best. When I think about a mistake I like the best, I typically am looking for something where I can see that there's some understanding here, but they made one minor mistake. So I think I know who I would probably pick, but I went through and I looked at what some of your classmates said, and let me get this screenshot ready to share real quick. So I have Tian who selected Zion. And here's Tian's um, response. Zion's wrong because he just switched the numbers around thinking subtraction can be flipped and still work the same. And that's true, that's exactly what he did. But we can't just switch subtraction around. Elaine picked Juliana. Juliana's expression is incorrect because she forgot to change the negative to a positive. So what Elaine's pointing out is when Juliana multiplied that negative five times that negative two X, she got 10 X, she just left it as a negative. And then our last response from one of you was, um, we have Hector who picked Nicholas. And Hector said, Nicholas's expression is incorrect because he didn't multiply the other number. So if we go back and take a look and keep that in mind, you can see that Nicholas only multiplied the 40, but not the two. And somehow also turned that into a positive two X. Juliana has almost everything right. She just didn't make this a positive. And then we've got Zion who switched the things that are on the inside here from what was originally there, which changed the signs of the terms because the negative sign is with the two X, not with the eight and Zion flipped those around. Okay, so we have about 15 minutes left. I am going to stop the pacing and unpause it and let you all just go. The next activity is a card sort where you're sorting them into equivalent expressions. Notice you will have one card left over. 
I'm going to leave my screen visible so you can see uh, as you're sorting if you're getting things correct or not. <clears throat> 